Let's Talk Stroke. I am your host, stroke survivor, Jerry Wall. And for, uh, for those of you that are new here watching, um, this show is all about spreading awareness about stroke, TBI, aphasia, brain injury in a nutshell, but also to provide a platform for other survivors to, be, to be share their stories and uh, uh, sh share their journeys and uh, from all across the world and to say that you are not alone, as well as to have experts um, in brain health uh, so they can share their expertise for all of us. Um, so now this morning's guest is Callie Zabian and her mom, Lisa, who will be sharing their story about the accident that uh, Callie was in. Um, and I usually butcher people's names, so I won't, hopefully they'll uh, be nice to me. Um, but please ask questions, make comments, tell us where you're from, and, um, and uh, share this content, because you don't know who can benefit from watching this. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Hey, good morning. How are you? Hi, good morning. Good. How are you? Doing great. And the guests will be uh, be showing up here. The uh, people. Um, good morning, Heather. I don't know if you know some of these people that are be coming on, and uh, and uh, appreciate you being here. Thanks Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, what I wanted to find out is uh, if we rewind the clock. Um, who was um, Callie? Am I, I, first of all, I'm like say I'm, I hope I'm not butchering my name, and I apologize. No, you have you're right. all good. Perfect. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, George and Lynn. Everybody, we appreciate you being here. So, who was Callie? You were you were in high school, or you were not? Yeah. Do you want me? Do you want me to answer? Well, I was in college. Yeah. College. Yeah. And. and you went to school because I know we talked about this. Go yeah. to MB Real, where I was going to go, but I went to another aeronautical engineering yeah. school. Um, wow. So, what, tell us about your uh, what happened. I was Air Force ROTC there. That's great. Good morning, Leslie, uh, T, Tracy. Do you, do you recognize any of the people that are out here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, yep, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Danielle, thank you for being here. We appreciate it very much. So you were in a car accident, or you were walking, or you're on break. Yeah, that was like driving home from work. And I ended up in like guardrail. Oh, go ahead. Like, yep, someone came like. So like check on me. I was like helping direct traffic. So I, you know, got out of my car to direct traffic around it. Wow. And, and but you were so you suffered a TBI, a traumatic brain injury. Yeah. So how that actually happened? Were you outside the car? Or? Yeah. And was it a drunk driver that hit you or? It was a young boy who um, yeah. had been smoking pot. Yeah. That hit her. Yeah. Wow. So That's she, um, yeah, they saw the car coming at them and she yelled, run. And they ran across, the, were running yeah. away from the car and he swerved, swerved and hit her. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's just crazy. How, how fast was the gun? Do we know all the details of that? Um, I'm not sure of how fast, but he didn't slow down when yeah. he hit her. I mean, he, he hit me like real fast, probably. Yeah. yeah. It hit me on the left side, and then I fell and damaged the right side of my brain the worst. Right. Wow. And how, how long were you in the hospital? Um, she, the accident was August 7th. Yeah. Um, we were at Bay State Medical Center in Springfield, Mass., until um, just before Labor Day. And then um, we were at Spalding Rehabilitation Center yeah. in Boston uh, on January 6th. Wow. How long were you in the hospital? Um, about four weeks. Yeah. Four, weeks. four or five weeks. And then, yeah, a couple months, five months in at, uh, rehab in Boston. Wow. Wow. That's, 
did you did you um did you know what happened because i'm sure you know you didn't know how, how long like um when you realized that you were hit so so Callie was in a coma um yeah. for almost um a month um in and out and then she doesn't remember anything from yeah the first six months at all and yeah and doesn't remember much either even coming home um but then started to um hold on to memories from that point on yeah because you lost your memory from prior yeah that, right? yeah mostly just college memories she lost yeah almost everything yeah yeah just that she remembers a few things from high school, high school yeah. but she pretty much she didn't know who we were or michael her boyfriend or she didn't know who anybody was um, but she knew she loved us right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. well, I mean, it's hard to believe um, to imagine not knowing your like your mom yeah so how, how was that i mean that, not when you saw her did you it'd be interesting to see what you um what you thought when you woke up and saw your mom and you said you're I'm, you're my mom well it was it was such a severe brain injury that yeah. she really didn't have much awareness of um who she was where she was um not really until she came home in january um, right she start to kind of realize but because she has no memory of the past at all um it was like everything was new to her you know yeah. that, that's just that's just yeah wow so how, how do you feel now i mean i feel all now and you know who your mom is and your boyfriend <laughs> yep Wow, that, that's great. So, so now you go to now you go to therapy every single day, or even if you're not therapy, you're doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, mom and Michael, when I don't have physical therapy, they are my PTs. They like. Yeah, and are you still going to school, or is that no? No. That's on hold. Yep. Yeah, because I can't go to Embry Riddle. Yeah. Wow. That, why is that? Well, because of my ex, because that accident and everything. Can't yeah. do air force ROTC. Oh, that's, they won't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and true. she's starting to relearn from ground zero, you know. So I think, you know, maybe she's at like a sixth, fifth or sixth grade level math and pretty well, more English is like. English is better. Yeah. But she's working with you, tell them that you're working. Yeah, with. I am working with Miss Verdi my AP English teacher, and Ms. McCormick, my AP math teacher in high school. Wow. So apparently, you took all AP classes. Yeah. Wow. That's, funny. That's, that's terrific. And, and it's such a, like, just looking at you, you're so positive, so outgoing. Yeah. I mean, wow. Wow. So how do you keep yourself, like, because COVID, you know what's going on? Um, what's life like now? With COVID, does that affected you? I mean, not really. We just have to be like careful, like where we're going. Right. And just also like keep like a good distance between us and others, and right. always wear masks. Yeah. yeah. And it actually, it's funny because we got home in January, and then in March or April, everything kind of shut down. But all the kids came home, so um, it kind of worked out because we're nine, eight, eight people in the house, and. Um, was a lot of we were all together you know so her sisters are all home and her, yeah. my niece lives with us and so it was it worked out okay for her there was a lot of um social interaction with family right so we were kind of on lockdown um yeah it, it worked out okay yeah, yeah. right right I, I see some of the comments here uh Mike Peters, I know you will get there. You appear so strong. Mike <laughs> Peters, I don't know if you know Mike. He's out in South Wales, United Kingdom. I don't know if and, I know Mike. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I, I know you know Robin Martini. You, I'm not sure. She, yeah, she's a uh, she's a big uh, competition on the. Uh, yeah, I use, you know, the oh, the motor server. Server. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah. competitive. Yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> you, you, you use the motor foot. 
Yeah. Is how you is that something you're using every day? I mean about yeah. 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 But I do have to like stick to that pretty long to reteach my brain to move my ankle. Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. So um what do you tell people out there that are going what would you tell people that are going through a difficult time? I know that everybody here on this I mean I know quite a few of them and there are brain most of our brain brain injury survivors. Yeah. You know, so how how do you keep yourself so positive? I mean, I just you know, trust in God the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. That that's good to good to hear that you have a great faith. Yeah, yeah. I think too. You know, so many people um, prayed for Callie and our yeah. family, especially you know in the beginning, and even now, like yeah. I feel that. Um, you know, her chances of survival were not good at all. Yeah. And even her chances of any sort of recovery were not good. And um, so many people prayed for her. Yeah. And she, I mean, she really is a walking miracle. She should not be able to do any of the things that she can do. And yeah. I believe that, you know, God has healed her for a purpose. Yeah. And she's definitely living out that purpose. You know, she's such yeah. a light in the world. And She's always happy and positive, and she doesn't get depressed. You know, yeah. really, uh, it's really, it's pretty incredible. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and God is such a big part of our walk and your walk, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I see a, a couple of comes out. Yvonne up there. I don't know if you see Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Thank you, She's from uh, Athens, Greece. Oh, neat. Um, yeah, and Mike Peters. <laughs> Uh, good answer, trusting God. My, his his wife is a priest oh, out there. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, but you have to have faith, and uh, yeah. And obviously, you are here for a reason, and and you have a purpose, and you're definitely yeah. Um, yeah. Now, now I completely understand. Um, I'm looking at the comment. You see Josh's comment. I'm like. Sometimes I can put these comments up here to show. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You see that. So, um, yeah, yeah. It's so true. Um, yeah. I think, too, like, you know, when you feel you're not alone in this journey because of people like praying for you or sending you messages and, yeah. you know, even just commenting on posts. Um, I was never a big Facebook person, but it's been such an amazing tool. Um, to feel connected to so many people. And it's been some amazing support for our entire family, you know? Um, and there's moments where you're down and you're sad. I mean, I am, she's not, but you know, and, and it's nice to be able to um, have people encourage and support yeah. and, and just know that they're praying for you and that they love you. Um, it, it's really, I think it's been such an incredible tool. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, not to um, uh, me, but, what uh, really helped is I thought when I had mine 10 years ago, I thought I was the only one that had my brain injury. And then I got this Facebook, someone I reached out, reached out to me, and then I, uh, then I realized, wow, I'm not the only one. There's so many other people. Um, then you, you, right. like you, said, yeah. you, you connect to them, and they really, it makes a, a big difference. So, now you're a big Facebook junkie, right, Lisa? <laughs> I am. <laughs> but, you know, it's too, and, and you, when you ask a question, um, or, or you can answer people's questions, because what's better than living through it yourself? Um, you know, you know what works and you know what doesn't work. And I think that sometimes doctors don't always have the solutions or the answers, but when you're going through it, you can really help each other and guide each other, which has been such, such an amazing yeah. thing with other families that have gone through this and and then it happens to a new you know a, a family and you can reach out and just say hey I'm here if you have any yeah. questions and it, it's it is a good support all around yeah absolutely it's so true um yeah I had uh, like one of our friends out there in our community I guess we'll call it she always said you know it's okay to be down it's okay um, yeah you know but it's, you don't have the right to stay there she always That's says right. this and. Yeah, but it, it's so important to uh, 
well, like me with my faith and all that. It's just been really important. And it just, you know, sometimes you just, you were saying you both walk. And um, so the, I saw the recent one with you walking. So you, you probably both say prayers and talk about it as you're walking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's such a, it's funny because we, we walk in the cemetery every day um, because it's one of our streets. So, yeah. you know, every day we walk the dogs through the cemetery and she plays her music and sings and, um, nice. yeah, and it's just a nice time of day and, yeah. you know, people drive by and wave and it's just, it's, it's, yeah. just, it's nice, right? It's been a, it's been such a great thing and she yeah. really walks, you know, no sleep, hail. <laughs> really? She's out there walking. You know, wow. I mean, there's days in the winter where, like, oh, you really want to go walk? It's like 10 below zero. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not me. Put on our snowsuit yeah. and yeah. get out there. Put cleats on her feet and yep, go funny. through the snow. Yeah. That's true, right? Wow. Yeah. Well, because you're wearing an AFO when you're walking, but I, I thought I saw the other day you were walking without your AFO. No, she always has it on. Oh, yeah. okay. Maybe I just, yeah. Yeah, it might have looked. Sometimes her pants go over yeah. it or you can't really see it well. But yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. they're with my blue pants. Yeah. 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 Okay. Maybe uh, well, you're on, you had sweats on or something like that. Yeah. 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 So do you, do you do like, I mean, I see a lot, like, all these comments here. Um, I don't know if you're reading them at, as we're talking. Do you, do you ever, Callie, when you're um, getting ready to go somewhere, like even walking, do you pre prepare yourself mentally and say, okay, I, for me, that's what I do. Okay, I got to walk down the street. If there's pebbles in the street, I can't, I have to completely make sure I don't step on my, in one, because yeah. I may end up on my behind. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so you have to do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, Kelly yeah. walking. I think now that she's just started walking without a walker, yeah, on her own, and um, I think what you're saying will be definitely more relevant now. You know, well, when that's you, what I've already started doing. Just be, definitely have to be more aware. Yeah, when I'm walking. little bumps and and yeah. curbs and ditches and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> where you have the walker, you can you know have a little bit more forgiveness. But well, that, a little more speed. Probably. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I completely understand that because I. I talk yeah. to a lot of these people here. Um, they, oh yeah, and I, these, it's amazing. Some of these posts here. Um, Teresa, I call her T. Stroke groups have been a lifetime for me. They've been a lifeline for her. Um, mm -hmm. We never are alone. The stories are validation for me. Yeah, it's, we suffer many of the same things. Even she had a stroke. You had a TBI. But we all kind of, it's one kind of family and, and we're all here, you know, to help each other when we're down. And I know that, I know that for a fact. You know? And I know prayers help. Yeah. You know, it's been huge for all of, all of us. I mean, you know, some people don't want to say anything about that. No one wants to talk about like religion or, or politics. But yeah. in our situation, prayers help. Yeah. You know, it's been really important. So, what else can we talk about with your with your accident? I mean, you, you were trying to direct traffic, and then someone just ran into you. Were you there, Mom? No. So, um, Kelly was alone coming back from work, and a, a, a well, nice gentleman yeah. pulled over to help her. Well, yeah. When I hit the you know, first thing I did was call Dad. Yep. And asked him what, like, should I do? And he said, just call like the cops right away. Just tell him hit the guardrail and he'd like help yeah and and it was such an amazing blessing that that gentleman pulled over with her because um well she had called the police right away so they were already on their way and then when she got hit um she was thrown so far into yeah. the woods that if she were alone um i think the police would have come and thought that she had left the scene so thank goodness that gentleman was with her and um absolutely she was a blessing and the police yeah. arrived so quickly after she was hit because they had already been on the way. And um, my husband, when he arrived at the scene, um, Callie was being placed into the ambulance. So um, he followed the ambulance to the hospital, which I'm sure I know was a horrific, yeah. horrific ride and um, called me. 
And when we arrived at the hospital, um, they brought us in right before they took her into surgery. And I think they didn't think she was going to make it. So basically, we were going in to say goodbye to her and tell her we loved her. And um, four hours of brain surgery on the right side. Um, they removed her skull. Yeah. And then yeah. she was having, then she started bleeding on the left side. So they removed the left side of her skull. And it was another four hours of brain surgery. Um, and thank goodness the surgeon that was there was on call. And he wasn't far away. So he, they got her in, you know, fairly quickly. And um, the next morning, um, she was at Berkshire Medical Center in Pittsfield. Oh, yeah. They uh, helicoptered her to Bay State, um, to the ICO Bay State, which was in Springfield, Mass. Right, right. Wow. So, yeah, cr craniotomy. Huh? Yeah, both sides. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, just guardian angels. <clears throat> absolutely. I felt like, you know, everyone was exactly where they were supposed to be. And, I mean, Callie shared, and I've, I've said this to you, like early on, Callie was in a coma, and, and she was – um, whispering a little bit and talking and she told me that um, she was that Jesus was with her on the side of that road and this is before she really even had, could comprehend that she what happened to her um, but she definitely had an experience with God that day sure it has felt in my heart the whole time yeah and so her faith has just been miraculous and, and she may not know what certain things are but she that her faith always stayed the same yeah. um, throughout recovery. Like she didn't know what a, a fork was, but she knew who <laughs> God was, you know? Yeah. So, that's funny. I mean, yeah. And that's why I had to eat them too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually eat anything. Yeah, she didn't eat for a long time. Yeah. Wow, that's just, yeah, and that just shows how, what the power of God is. Yeah. yeah. You could, like your, your mom said, you, you couldn't even tell what a, what a fork was. Right. Yeah. Is, you know, it didn't have any memory, but you did, did have one real pigment. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. made a big difference. I could not imagine you, um, Lisa, you there, and, or um, seeing your daughter like that. I mean, because, like with my wife, it affects the whole family. I mean, but yeah. see your daughter go through that, I mean, that, yeah. that sent me a <clears throat> to see them in your debt. Your dad there too, and and your boyfriend, and you yeah. know, yeah, but yeah, just like Josh yeah. said, fight on. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You know, you know. wow, just an amazing story. You, you're just a, you are a fighter. Yeah, she is. You know, she always was like that. You know, in high school or yeah. just growing up, she was straight A student, an amazing athlete, um, and she was just one of kid that I didn't have to I don't think Callie's ever been grounded ever she just was, <laughs> wow. always did the right Funny. thing she was humble is you know humble and and um, just really worked so hard and you know she went to Embry Riddle and it was like she just hit her stride she met her first boyfriend and he was she was his first girlfriend and they just <laughs> like, fell in love and um, he came to live with us for the summer and they worked together and it was like she worked so hard her whole life to get to this point and you know when it was kind of like taken away but i always look at it like you know god has a plan for us yeah, and it's yeah. like what our plan is and we'll never know the reason until yeah. we're with him in heaven right but she has yeah. a different plan now, a different purpose um yeah, and yeah. I know you're, a different, you're a different person you're not the person you were but you're an amazing person yeah. so you know, we're blessed to have her with us. And I think, um, I think that she's, God is going to use her in incredible ways. Yeah. I really do believe that. Yeah. Yeah, you already absolutely. Have. yeah absolutely. And I mean, you're, you're spreading awareness about TBI. Is there any other, I mean, you should be out there doing um, presentations and do, uh, you know, a speaker, um, yeah. like a yeah. motivational speaker. I can see this yeah. happening. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> how, old, yeah how old were you when you had when you got hit by the car? I was nineteen. Nineteen. Wow. Yep. Wow. But, yeah. Not to talk to some of these. I love these comments. I mean, they, you know, obviously now people are, you know, a lot of people just did. I interview a lot of people and they don't want to really talk about, it, but it's great. Like 
Teresa, I call her T. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Always right next to us. That's so true. Very yeah. true. Yeah. 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 Wow. And we decided from day one, like we were going to just be very open about everything. Um, you know, I just started posting, you know, everything because yeah. we want, first of all, we wanted everyone to hear it directly from us. And I know that, you know, I know other families have gone through things in our town and or yeah. people I know. And, and you do, you want to know, like, are you okay? Like, how can we yeah. pray for you? And so yeah. I thought it was really important to just really be open and honest and um, let people in. And I'm yeah that we did because I feel we have such a huge community of support around us. In yeah. Valley. Yeah. That's important. It's really important. And, it uh, is. um, yeah, Jerry Wall wants to be your agent. Huh? Um, <laughs> Lynette Price is here. Lynette, if you can, uh, tell us, I, I butchered your, um, saying, um, you know, you have the right to get down or, uh, that. So Lynette, you can, she'll do it. And, She'll tell us the right way that I've butchered all the time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you do have a purpose. And, uh, yeah. you know, and do you know what that pur purpose is to uh, inspire other people? Yeah. So I do feel like now, after all this, like a purpose God has put on my heart is to reach out to others with TBIs and tell them how I slowly let, yet surely got feeling stronger. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's so true. Now that you're sharing it with, with other people out there, because yeah. I, I always think if people are, if you see people walking down my, my, the street here, uh, and you don't know what they're going through. We don't know what their yeah. life is like, and, and it could be a, a train wreck. And I always say, if you can just, just smile, you know, just smile yeah. because we don't know what they're going through. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that we just really need to, um, just love each other is really yeah. the big thing, right? We're so, right. As a, you know, as a nation right now and as a world, we're so separated and and people are struggling with all different things. And we really just need to love each other and yeah. um, put our differences aside. And that's what God right. wants from us anyway, yeah. right? And um, especially, you know, you just, you're right, you don't know. And some people's injuries are physical and, and they're, you can yeah. see them, but some people have emotional or you know, even with brain injuries, a lot yeah. of time, like you said, you can't see what's going on. And yeah. it's important to just be kind and tread gently in yeah. this world, you know. Yeah, absolutely. We call, I always call them invisible injuries. Yeah. Yeah. Just like you said, we, we don't know. Um, Josh, you're right. Take advantage of your second chance of life yeah. Yeah. that others <laughs> never received. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And I love when Callie's anniversaries come about. Um, she always wants to celebrate. Like the first year, um, you know, we just had a little like part, you know, dinner party. And this year, she yeah, I wrote everyone like thank you cards for like oh. all the time they've sacrificed to me and everything. Baked everyone dinner and everything. Yep, she cooked all on her own. Yeah, the entire day she made the entire dinner <laughs> on her own. The Thing and big key lime pie the night before <laughs> and made me keto moose. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. The whole thing wow. she did on her own. And it was a lot. It was yeah. a lot, but she was determined to do it for us because she wanted yeah. to thank us. I just thought that was beautiful. Yeah. And it should be a celebration of life, you know. That's what yes. I have to Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So I did really want to give all of you a thank you party. Yeah, and you did. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's beautiful. I mean, yeah. um, there's a question here is asking how how was I don't know or I'm sure he, how was your mental health? Both. Um. How how do you feel mentally? Like do you get depressed or no? Not at all. Yeah. She's um. She never went through that depressed time no. or downtime, and I, I think part of it is that um, I think part of it is she doesn't remember who she was. So you don't know what you've lost. Yeah. Um, yeah. For me as a mom, um, I do feel like there are times that I get really down and I and I allow myself to cry and be sad, but like your friends said, I don't camp out there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sometime and, and then it's like, okay, let's keep going. And yeah. she's alive and she's here. Yeah. And um, we have to be happy for that. You yeah. Know? And I can't I can't look back and say, Well, I wish it was this or I wish it was that because it's not. It is what it is. Yeah. And we're gonna make the best of it and 
we're going to trust God's plan and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I love this. I mean, looking at you both, it looks like such a great relationship. Yeah, we're close. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Do you, do you have a. I know, I, Josh just said, Callie is, is making everyone get emotional. I, I know. I mean, I can, I'm getting water eyes here. I, have, um, um, I don't know if you have. Um, um, you know, PVA is where you have that. I, let's see. Uh, pseudo barbaro, where it's like um, with a brain injury, sometimes you have that where you, you um, either start crying or laughing at just like really no reason. No. And, and what are, are you? Um, like, he says, are you with? I can That's okay. Um, but do you have any, like, my whole right side, is, they call it hemiplegic. Is there any side of you that is? Dip, uh, you know, did you have a brain injury? Yeah. Or you're, yeah. Yeah, it's been my left side. Yeah. So when I was in the hospital, they told me how. Didn't even move my left side or anything. Yeah. So she had complete left side paralysis. Yeah. And side denial. Um, yeah, so it's she, like, they injured my right yeah. side of my brain. Which, and then, you know, yeah. pulls that side. Yeah. And then the left side that was damaged, um, it, she could always read. Um, and write, but she aphasia. She had problems with word recall. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the paralysis. Um, I mean, she she didn't know that the left side even existed. Um, it was the left side denial, and that's come. I'd say that's like 80 80 percent now. Wow. Yeah. Your hand. You can move your hand. Move your yeah. hand. For them. Yeah. Like so, you can see it in the cat. Yeah. So she she yeah. can move her hand very well. I mean, it's yeah. it's about seventy percent there. Last piece that we're really we're struggling just, with. You know, playing music again. Yeah, yeah. We were, you like, can see the ukulele in the back. Yeah. We started practicing that again this yeah. morning. So Callie played um, the violin, yeah. the guitar, the piano, and the ukulele. <laughs> so um, we're starting to get her music. She's starting to get her music back a bit. Yeah, because piano is easier than both of those. Right, right. Because just wow. like with like those strings and everything, it's just harder. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's all. Awesome. I mean, music is so powerful in brain yes. healing your brain too. I mean, that's I you know I, I love music. I mean, same thing. I I grew up with music in my house. All my my mom was a not to change it, but she was a no, no. I don't know if you know, but um, she was a on the on the Ed Sullivan show at eight years old playing the piano. <laughs> was she really? Yeah. That's oh my god! Oh yeah. my god! I have to look that up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the funniest thing that you know, we little videos of that. It's kind of cool that she is, but that is uh, very cool. Yeah, yeah. So we we still always talk about how it heals the brain, music, and uh, it's really yeah. powerful. Yeah, um, she remembered all the lyrics. Like you can put a song on, yeah, and she'll remember <laughs> all the lyrics. It, it's amazing. Yeah. Like I don't know what it is, but she didn't forget the lyrics to the to songs. You know, I mean, she didn't know anything else, but she didn't know what a bug was, but she could sing like any song. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, I, even now you put on a song and she just starts singing. She knows all the way to it. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny how that works. God, good for yeah. you. That's terrific. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, gosh, again, I'm really happy that you agreed to be on here. Um, Thank you. No, so, seriously, you both are an inspiration. Um, to me and I'm sure to everybody else and uh, uh yeah. Do you see Tracy's comment there? Praise God, God is so good, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. He's lending a testimony to his faithful. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely is right. Um well is there any other oh you know I I hate to do this, let's show you. I gotta pull this up here that you uh let's see here. <laughs> Oh, is this, is, Callie, is that you, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was when I was in college. Hey, oh, wow. Okay. And then this one yeah. here is you in the hospital. You hate to bring yeah. up, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Real life. Just uh, my breathing tube and everything. Yeah. Yeah. A trach too? Yeah. Yep, everything. Yeah. Yep, the whole, the whole nine yards. Yep. Yeah. And then right here, 
someone very happy in ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was on, when we were on vacation yeah. Long Beach Island. Oh, uh, where uh, was it? In New Jersey, Long yeah, Beach Island. Yeah, Long Beach Island. Wow, yeah, we have how, my parents had one out there in Long Beach Island. <laughs> oh, uh, really? Great place. Yeah, I grew up in New York. No. But, uh, okay. but yeah, that's good for you. Um, so before we end, is there anything you could, I know I said it earlier, is there anything else you can say that we haven't kind of covered and, and what you could tell some of these other uh, folks out here that, I mean, you're so positive. There's, you know, how do you get people to rub off on your positivity? I mean, you're so positive. Both of you. I think you just, I just had to say, like those real rough two years and everything. Yeah. And like really push myself hard, like to like get, you know, gain progress. Absolutely. Absolutely. So just pushing yourself hard through those tough times does get you much better. Yeah. And right. if like anything else, it's like ebb and flow, you know, you're yeah. two steps forward, one step back. And yeah. I think that you have to be. You have to be patient. It's it's a marathon. It is not a sprint for sure. Yeah. And you yeah. just got to keep going. And some days you just need to go to bed. And that's yeah. okay. You have to give yourself permission to yeah. rest when you need to rest and push when you can. And, um, you know, I say just stay focused on, yeah. on your faith and prayer. And I think that God will strengthen you beyond yeah. anything um, you could ever imagine for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's wonders. I, I agree. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate everybody else. Oh, wait. Gotta, I gotta bring this comment up here. I'll see Yvonne. Her mom looks amazing. She looks like her twin. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate it again, and um, you two are like a breath of fresh air. Oh, great thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, thank you again, and thank you guys all for being here. Um, it's been just a pleasure to talk to you all. Thank you so thank much. You. All right, well, take care, you guys, and take, take care, care. Of everybody. And thank you for coming and everybody and showing up. Thank you. <laughs>